are you? I'm Peter Griffin. I'm the guy who ruined television, and I'm the guy who's gonna fix it. Guys, I broke television, and now you have to help me fix it. Yeah, looks like this is one we beat you to. They're lazy, angry, stupid, working-class drunks. Now, I'm just an ordinary blue-collar slob, but I know what I like on TV. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Homer Simpson against Peter Griffin to see which cartoon fatty reigns supreme. <laughs> Round 1. Personalities. Homer J. Simpson, also known as Max Power. I got it off a hairdryer. The Pie Man, Colonel Homer, etc. Mm. Likes. Rock and roll, Duff beer. <sighs> The misfortune of others, donuts. Mmm, purple. Dislikes. Flanders. What's with the lead pipe? Are you gonna get my noggin a flogging? Oh, yeah. Work, not having TV and beer. No TV and no beer make Homer something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Springfield, USA wouldn't be the same without Homer's work at the local nuclear plant. Saying he's prone to anger is an understatement, and he's also known for his slothfulness, selfishness, and beer guzzling. But he's definitely not all bad. Everyone is stupid except me. Peter Lowenbrow Griffin Sr., also known as Fat Man. Likes. Kiss. TV. Boobies. That turn you on? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. The song, Surfin' Bird. Well, a bird, 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 well, a bird is a word. Dislikes. His daughter... You know, Meg being captured by evil men reminds me of another story. It's distracting. Um... Chris Martin, The Godfather. Did not care for The Godfather. How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Living and working a string of odd jobs in Quahog, Rhode Island, is devout Irish Catholic Peter. He's ruder, cruder, and looter than his yellow counterpart. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. But you can't deny he's a Homer Simpson ripoff. And that's why Homie takes round one. Winner, Homer Simpson. Wait a minute. Are you humoring me? Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. That's bad. Round two, families. They've got hot wives, a son, daughter, baby, and dog. But that's where the similarities between the Simpsons and Griffins end. Homer and his high school sweetheart, Marge Bouvier, live at 742 Evergreen Terrace with their kids, troublemaking Bart, bookwormy Lisa, and baby Maggie. Bart, don't feed your sister hotels. Don't worry, Mom. There's tons of these things. Their dog, Santa's little helper, and whichever cat is alive this week. Homer's mostly a loving father and husband who will do anything for his family. But sometimes he takes parenting too far. Joke on your candor! <laughs> <laughs> Peter married up when he wed Lois Pewterschmidt, and now they live at 31 Spooner Street with their idiot son Chris, awkward daughter Meg, genius sociopath baby Stewie, and alcoholic talking dog Brian. I'm just a bit testy. Stop staring at my tail! Peter has had his moments as a dad and spouse, but mostly he's a buffoon. Don't say retard, Chris. We prefer to be called little people. Since we actually believe Homer loves all his kids, we're giving him round two. Winner, Homer Simpson. I am too smart. I am too smart. I am too smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-R-T. Round three, friends and enemies. Alongside Homer at Moe's Tavern almost every evening are his co-workers Lenny and Carl and the belching Barney Gumble. Hey, this is Richard Nixon's enemies list. You just crossed out his name and put yours. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Barney. Gumble. Oh. Considering all his stupid stunts, Homer has surprisingly few enemies. It boggles the mind. It's best not to think about it. But his forgetful boss, C. Montgomery Burns, and his faithful sidekick, Waylon Smithers, are often on his case. Um, he's Homer Simpson, sir, one of your drones from Sector 7G. Excellent. While one-time co-worker Frank Grimes was definitely not a fan. <laughs> oh, God. But Homer's religious neighbor is his true nemesis. I can't let the boy see me with you. What? Hi. Right. Hey, look, Homer's got one of those robot cars. One of those American robot cars. Peter frequents the drunken clam with his group of buddies, including horn dog Glenn Quagmire, paraplegic Joe Swanson, and token black eye Cleveland Brown. You know they got seats for children now. You put them right in your car. Supposed to make them safer. 
Only problem is you can't lean your seat all the way back. Oh. We're pretty sure half of Quahog would hate Griffin if they got to know him, but his most persistent enemy is Ernie the Giant Chicken. Chicken! Gave me a bad Koopa! Since Peter's supporting cast checks all the boxes on the diversity and hilarity scales, we'll award him this round. Winner, Peter Griffin. How do you respond to that? Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey! Oh, yeah. Round four, stupidity level. Smart guys don't sell their souls for a donut, or half a Malamar. Okay, they're both idiots. Who's that goat-legged fellow? I like the cut of his jib. Uh, Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. To put it the PC way, Peter's illogical and inconsistent behavior can be traced to his below average intelligence. So, as you can see, you are just over the line of mental retardation. Don't you mean just under the line? The day I'm corrected by a re- uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just please trust the analysis. So while he thinks he's Jesus- Kneel before Christ! doesn't know what to call people in wheelchairs, what are all these parallelograms doing here? and puts his manhood in places he shouldn't, at least his actions are explainable. Ish. <laughs> On the other hand, Homer may have been to space, but he was upstaged by a stick. Hey, what is that? It's an inanimate carbon rod! <laughs> he puts his health in jeopardy out of sheer laziness, is pretty oblivious, and doesn't catch on quickly. Hello, Mr. Thompson. I think he's talking to you. But we blame Homer's stupidity on the fact that he's been hit on the head too many times. And because of his near constant exposure to nuclear waste. And all that beer. And the Simpson gene. Um, I shoot birds at the airport. And the crayon in his brain. Actually, Homer wins because he chooses to remain a moron. Extended warranty? How can I lose? Winner, Homer Simpson. Good. Fine. I'll never ever do another stupid thing. Good night. Oh, homie, didn't that hurt? No. Round five, cultural impact. From bowling a perfect game to winning a Grammy, Springfield wouldn't be the same without Homer. Hello, Homer, I'm George Harrison. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, where did you get that brownie? But his real impact is in the real world. He's one of the most identifiable TV characters in history and one of the most iconic representations of American comedy. The beep in my body. No, my bottom's big! Hey, his catchphrase is even in the dictionary. <laughs> sure, the show's gotten lame over the years, but you've got to give weight to its influence. Change the channel, Marge! <laughs> <laughs> That's our Homer! <laughs> By arriving ten years later, Peter pushed the boundaries Homer couldn't. But other than his subway commercials, he's yet to pack a pop culture punch as significant as his bald equal. Oh, that's just great, Lois. Thanks to you, I missed a moment of television history. Simply put, everyone knows that without Homer, there'd be no Peter. Well, Homer, I guess you're the winner by default. Default! Woohoo! Winner, Homer Simpson. Default! 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 Where'd you get that, anyway? Sent away. Verdict. That didn't explain anything. By a score of 4 to 1, Fishbulb takes the prize because nothing beats the original. Do you agree with our judgment? Damn you all to hell! Or do you think Peter takes the taco? Be sure to let us know by subscribing to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>